at Planet Tuna, we study the Atlantic bluefin tuna, a large open ocean predator with almost no enemies other than humans. It eats whatever it wants, fish, squid, and sometimes it also eats jellyfish, including a very common one called Pelagia noctiluca. But when the tuna are babies, the situation is very different. When they spawn, bluefin tuna release millions and millions of tiny eggs and huge amounts of sperm. The fertilized eggs turn into teeny little larvae that are part of the plankton. And the jellyfish? Well, same thing. They release eggs and sperm, and teensy little larvae hatch from the eggs and turn into larger ones called ephyras. As soon as their tentacles grow, these killer babies go on the attack and they eat the eggs and the newborn babies of the tuna. The little tuna is super vulnerable until it develops its tail fin. Then it can zoom off to safety. Luckily, the baby tuna don't always coincide with the baby jellyfish. Our jellyfish expert, Daniel Ottman, has discovered that in waters around the Balearic Islands, the jellyfish prefer to breed in areas with more food, while the bluefin tuna prefer areas with less food. Could it be that the tuna breed where there's less food in order to avoid the jellyfish? Daniel's research indicates that this is probably the case. But watch out again. Our baby tuna is no angel either. As soon as the tuna larva grows a little more, it begins to eat the larvae of other fish, for example, baby albacore. And it gets worse. Our little tuna is a cannibal. Bluefin tuna that hatch earlier often eat their younger siblings. Might this be a way to ensure that at least some baby tuna survive in these waters with so little food? Luckily, they soon stop being cannibals and they live peacefully in large schools for the rest of their lives. So what's the moral of this story? Never trust a baby. <laughs> nah, that's not it. Tuna are born strong and ready to defend themselves. No way, they're born super small and vulnerable. Tuna start out as helpless plankton and end up as top predators. That's it. And why don't they start out bigger and stronger? Many sharks do. They have few babies, but they're born fully formed and capable of hunting and defending themselves right away. So they have few offspring, but many of them will reach adulthood. Other marine animals, such as anchovies or squid, have tons of offspring, and all sorts of predators eat them, both when they're babies and when they're adults. They're prey species, like mice or rabbits are on land. And then there's the mixed strategy of fish like tuna. They start out as part of the plankton, and everyone gobbles them up, and then as they grow, they become small predators and finally large predators at the top of the marine food chain. Bluefin tuna may hold the world record in this sense, going from a four millimeter larva to a massive creature up to four meters long is really impressive. And what about our killer jellyfish? Well, they will also grow, but not much. They'll always be small predators, and that is why they can end up paying for their childhood crimes in the mouth of a tuna.